else. So Kansas have their very own star in Nico Hernandez, 22 years old, and he fought in front of his hometown today against Morales. And it was an eight rounder, and it was only his sixth professional fight. Before then, um, he had five wins, four by knockout, so undefeated. So he goes into this one, and he's definitely the favorite. Now Morales, he does have a couple of losses on his record, that's for sure, but he's never been stopped. So it's no great surprise that um, this fight went the distance. And Nico Hernandez, I don't know why why or what it is that he really does remind me of Joseph Laws from my home city of Newcastle here where he's just adored by the locals in Kansas. And throughout the whole event, this is like the first time I've really, really heard the hometown or the crowd even get animated and shouting for Nico Hernandez. So clearly a star coming out of kansas i don't know how the rest of america feel about him but in kansas he's certainly something or someone to keep an eye out on and this is probably why eddie hearn signed him to be honest because he's a very very popular guy now the arena that they're in in kansas it only holds five thousand, but apparently nico hernandez sold the majority of those just just on his own and here he is in only fight number six now 22 years old is my god this boy's got some skill very very fast on his feet very very quick hands and moves around the ring um he does take a few shots i think that um, he needs to work on his defensive skills quite a bit um that's for sure but as i said you know very very early in his pro game done very well as an amateur as we know but i think maybe it it may have just been the occasion that was getting to him where he just wanted the knockout. But to go against a guy who was just happy to be there, he's never been stopped in himself and just wanted to fight. And Morales didn't do himself any kind of ill justice in this one at all. I thought Morales did well. Um, he was hanging in there, that's for sure. I mean, it went all eight rounds. But Nico Hernandez, he's something good. He's definitely, definitely, definitely one to watch. Now, I know that uh, these smaller weights are not real big, um, even in America. I mean, I think the smaller weights are probably more popular in America than what they are here in the UK. But I hope the likes of him, he can get in with pretty much anybody right now, I think, and mix it up at, at the very, very least. And hopefully we get to see Nico Hernandez here in the UK going forward, or going well, of course. But this uh, young lad, very, very good. As I said, very, very fast, very, very skillful. He's so fast that he's just absolutely real fast. And credit to both fighters. They did eight rounds of just pure non-stop moving and punching. And neither one of them looked tired. It's like they didn't even break a sweat. Anyway, very, very impressive victory for Nico Hernandez. Definitely going to be watching him going forward. And I fully expect, who knows, maybe a world champion in the making. But early to tell? Yeah, possibly. But I think that Nico Hernandez is someone to watch. Um, he does get a little bit wild at times. But again, maybe this is down to the fact that he was performing in front of his home city in Kansas today on the Eddie Hearn Matchroom Boxing Show. Anyway, you drop your thoughts below about him. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. Click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.